Hello guys and welcome back to my video. So in this, uh, we're continuing with the e-commerce series, but now we are moving on to the admin application. We are not done yet with the customer's application, but I just thought it's the right time for us to now start building the admin application. So the first thing that you need to go is to go, you need to do is go to firebase.google.com slash docs slash flutter and then set up. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up, set up a Firebase for our project. So what I'm just going to do is uh, copy Firebase login. And then you need to open your your command prompt or your terminal, depending on which uh, operating system you are using. So let's wait for it to load and... Okay, just type Y, and then uh, it's now redirecting us to Firebase Authentication. So I'm just going to use my email account. So I'm just going to allow Firebase CLI to use my my email account. Okay. So now we are successfully logged in. So now the next thing that we need to do is um if you it depends you can go into your you can go onto your desktop or for your folder where you keep your projects so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to create a new folder i'm just going to create a new folder i'm just going to name it e-commerce e-commerce admin app and then I'm just, let's go inside, uh, let's run command prompt inside our folder. And then let's just create a new Flutter project. Flutter create e-commerce admin application. So just give it some time for it to create a new Flutter project. Okay, so now what we need to do is just uh, type in CD e-commerce um, admin application. Okay, so just type code and then dot. This will allow us to open the folder in Visual Studio. So let's just wait for Visual Studio to finish loading. So the next step will be to, we need to activate, uh, we need to activate um, Firebase CLI in our project, in our Flutter project. That's what we are going to be doing next. So, okay. So now that our project is done, you can see we have now, we have a full Flutter project. So let's go into our lib folder. Uh, let's just close this. Let's go into our lib folder. Inside our lib folder. Inside our main.dat file. Inside our main.dat file, as you can see, we now have a full Flutter project. But uh, it's just that uh, Visual Studio is still loading. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, let's open a new terminal. Let's open a new terminal. 
and then let's go to flutter doc documentation let's copy this command right and then let's paste it inside our terminal let's wait for it to finish Okay, let's just paste it. Okay, and then let's um, let's just wait for you to activate the Flutter Fire CLI. It has now finished installing uh, Flutter executable CLI. What we need is just copy this uh, Flutter configure. And then let's go back to our project. And let's just wait for it to just to finish. Let's paste it. Okay, I think there's an error can't load uh by now can no. let's type let's go on Google and then let's see what's the error. Okay, okay, okay. There was no error. I just finished loading the projects. Okay, so let's just select the project uh, that I want. So if you don't have it, you should use the same project that you that you created when we first created our e-commerce customers application. In this case, I'm going to select the the one written e-commerce YouTube. Okay. So now you need to use arrows to scroll. I'm going just going to select and read.
Okay, guys, as you can see now, our application is now registered uh, on Firebase. So that was it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we we'll then start uh, creating uh, the authentication page and also other logic of the admin application. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.